how much over MSRP are car buyers paying for new cars? The numbers will blow you away. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth to bring you the specific data on just how much car prices have gone up on brand new cars. We polled our audience of over 45 million people and nearly 350,000 subscribers to get this following data. What our viewers told us ought to really give you all reason to consider your options if you believe the market is right for you to buy a brand new car. Over the weekend, we posted a poll to ask you how your new car deals have worked out at car dealerships and how much you ended up paying if you bought a new car. Before we share the poll results, Kevin, I want to ask our viewers, do you remember all those conversations about MSRP, manufacturer rebates, and dealer invoice, subtracting holdback, and all the applicable discounts? People routinely bought new cars below dealer invoice. That's right. Nobody but a fool ever paid MSRP on a new car in recent years. Well, that idea or method of arriving at a final price has been flipped on its head this past year. It's pretty much out the door. Yep. Totally spot on. All of that stuff is old news when it comes to new car pricing. So. Let's share our poll so you can see where new car pricing is at now. So we asked you, our car buyers, what are your worst case new car pricing scenarios in recent months? Please vote in our poll and help us gauge the responses you're getting from new car dealers when you're out car shopping. If you got a new car deal or an offer on a new car that was well above $10,000 over MSRP, well, give us a heads up in the comment section below while well, we did that on purpose. Wow. Well, 41% of you paid at or just below MSRP. That's a little surprising, but also a great piece of news. Even though anything that sits at or around MSRP is a price that is still too high, those are still numbers that are far better than the ones you're going to hear in these nightmare situations that make up the rest of the poll. That brings us to the people who got hosed. 12% of new car buyers paid between $1,500 and $3,900 over MSRP. Oh, that's painful, but it's going to get worse. Indeed, it does get worse. 17% of you paid between $4,000 and $6,900 over MSRP. Seriously? Some people must want a car really badly to blow that kind of money. Uh, yes, they do, but it does get worse. 9% of you paid between $7,000 and $9,900 over MSRP. Boy, do those dealers love you guys. Yeah, everyone in the dealership was high-fiving each other <laughs> when you left that kind of money on the yes, table. Yes, they were. Yeah. Now, here's where it gets really serious. There's still 20% left. Now, what do you think it leaves these 20% at, Liz? No, <laughs> don't say it. Yep, the last 20% are those of you who paid $10,000 or more over MSRP to get your new car. That's like blowing enough extra cash that you could have bought on a decent grocery getter. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what they always refer to in the dealership as getting your head torn off or the 10-pounder or more <laughs> or the complete laid out. The crew at the car dealership is known for some pretty graphic descriptions of the people who just, they get totally screwed over. Well, folks, if this was you paying more than $10,000 over MSRP for your vehicle, you are the reason the entire dealership was having a party the next day. All at your expense, oh. they were having a party. Yeah, at the expense of your bank account and your savings account. If any of these categories described your new car deal in recent months, if you didn't already put huge money down on those deals, you're going to have to take action to prevent a significant financial catastrophe in the next 12 to 18 months with this car deal you're riding around on. Yeah, the car you're driving right now is like a keg of dynamite, ready to blow your financial plans right out of the water. We recommend that you start adding 30 to 40% to your car payments every single month if those car dealers were yours and do this for the next 24 months. You have some huge catching up to do financially if you're ever going to get out from underneath this bloated car loan you now have. Of course, this doesn't apply to you if you already paid cash for the whole amount or if you put 50% cash down on your car. In those cases, you're fine. You knew you had a disaster of a car deal and you paid the price. For all the rest of you, this is something you have to be very, very aware of. 20% of new car deals are sitting at $10,000 or more over MSRP right now. We've received emails showing us car deals that were $15,000 over MSRP, oh, if you just can say believe no. that. Most of you are in no position financially to take that kind of hit. You have to be very, very careful if you're thinking about a new car deal at all right now. So think shorter term. Consider going used, buying a car private party instead of a car dealership. The prices will still be a little high there too, but you'll reduce your losses going that way. So true. All right. I want to wrap up today with a viewer comment that was recently made on our channel. Some of you are suffering financially a lot right now, so I thought 
we'd take a moment to give you some perspective to any of you who are feeling beat up by the circumstances in your life and the difficulties that this car market is adding to it. So here's what Sam had to say. He writes, this sucks. I hate my life. AC doesn't work. Windows don't work. No radio. Front end damage that I can't pass inspection. I don't leave the house unless I'm going to work. I hate this stupid car market. Wow, that's really tough, Sam. Well, let me say this. Don't hate your life, Sam. And none of you in our viewing audience should ever hate your life either. I've met a lot of great people over the years. And, you know, interestingly, on the other side of that coin, I've also had people tell me that I was one of the great people that they had a chance to meet. So let me share some perspective that could help you all out. All of us, no matter who we are, we have challenges. At times, you might feel crushed because some challenges make us wonder how we can carry on. But we do it anyway. That's right. We do anyway. There's a mindset that every successful person shares when it comes to failures in life. It's not falling down or having challenges that determine if you succeed or not. It's what you do when the chips are not falling your way and you feel boxed in. That's what really counts, my friends. It's always getting up, always carrying on, and always making lemonade from the lemons that life gives you. If you keep your chin up and you carry on, you'll look back at this point in your life, Sam, and think, thank God I didn't give up on myself. That's what you got to do, Sam. I've learned so much about taking on life with enthusiasm from Kevin. I've learned we need to plan ahead as best we can, but the future should be filled with hope instead of a looming disaster because, let's face it, if things are bad already, they can only get better. All you can do is change one day at a time and stay positive. Great, great words, Liz. None of us knows what God's plan is for us, but one thing is certain, God knows what his plan is for us. Yeah. It's our job to carry on. This determined mindset and the unwavering commitment to our personal goals, it's what any of the people who have gone places that you wanna go, it's what they've done. Yep. If you're facing a lot, don't be afraid to take a rest now and then, but just never quit, never give up. That's totally it. Join the crowd of victors and refuse to be victimized by any of your momentary circumstances. Your day to be a champion is just ahead for you, Sam. Thanks for your comment, though. I hope this helps you, and I hope it helps everyone else who is listening today. All of you are amazing people for just being here, helping to inspire other people in your own way. When we keep going after it in life, our next work is always our best work. All right. If you appreciated this message today, give it a huge thumbs up and make sure you share this video with your family and friends. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. So you don't miss a thing here on the Homework Guy and channel. Also comment below. Comments make a huge difference with the YouTube algorithms. And do you do your neighbor a favor by helping them find this content too. So leave us some great feedback. You got it. Thanks everyone for joining us today. We'll be back soon with another great video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.